Welcome friends. How much do you know about the ancient martial arts practiced at the Shaolin Monastery? Have you ever wondered what strength and endurance must be achieved by masters who have achieved mastery? Their abilities are amazing and some tricks seem incredible. You probably know that the whole secret to acquiring such skills is to control energy as well as harmony with yourself and the surrounding world. Lying on spears, walking on broken glass, this is the daily bread for the monks of Sao Lin. These men are capable of everything. The strangest thing is that they don't really feel pain at the time of the trial. Is it even possible? Specialists say that such endurance can be obtained after many years of training to control both your body and mind. Monks from the Shaolin Monastery can not only lie on sharp objects, but also can break the sharp kinga by leaning against her throat. Can you believe it? Write in the comments we are very curious. If you think that just standing on one leg for a long time, or a few squats on it make an impression on us, you are wrong. What do you say about these monks? Making such a number without losing balance is really amazing. What about these? The little ones are only six years old, but what they show here is amazing. And you, could you do that? After sharp spears, you probably won't be surprised, but look at them. What strength do you need to break several bricks at once with one hand? And how about breaking a stone slab on the back of a monk resting his neck on a sharp spear that sounds terrible by itself, but looks even worse, and smashing metal plates on your heads. These Shaolin monks are no worse than others. And what made the biggest impression on you? Would you like to learn something? Surely you know that the monks of Shaolin Monastery have incredible strength, they are able to cast heavily, and are incredibly skillful. Masters of Eastern Martial Arts practice such features for years. In this video we see a monk who throws the needle into the glass so hard that it pierces through it, and on this needle pierces the glass and the balloon placed behind it. If you look closely, you'll see how precise and manual movements the monk performs. One of the martial arts masters confessed that achieving this level of skill requires daily training for several dozen years. So if you want to learn this trick you have to have a lot of patience and balloons, This trick will definitely fail you. I'm wrong. In the video a young monk from Shaolin Monastery shows something extraordinary. He stands on the index finger of his right hand. You haven't heard. On one finger. The whole internet has gone crazy about this recording. Network users could not believe what they saw. The athletes were surprised by the strength of the monk and the believers were delighted with the strength of the young man's spirit. The monk stood in this position for a whole 10 seconds. Not everyone can boast of the ability to stand on one hand, and certainly no one would be able to keep the weight on one finger. The way to master the martial art of Shaolin Monastery and become a master leads through many years of difficult physical training. To get into the ranks of this ancient school, you must be eager to become a student and have unusual predispositions. To this day, in Shaolin there is a brutal selection of children who want to devote part of their lives to this art, and perhaps the whole. Every monk is extremely agile and agile. This is one of the most important traits of the student who will go outside the monastery wall. Future champions practice gymnastics every day which is the basis for practicing martial arts. Only thanks to the second and difficult training monks can easily take any position. The basis of classes at school is also training, which trains monks to be strong not only physically but also spiritually. Daily exercises affect the speed and endurance of students in the monastery. Running up the stairs is one of the basic exercises of future masters. The monks also walk on their hands and make it difficult to exercise with additional movements. And you? Would you make such an effort? Personally, we think that such training will not hurt anyone. 
and you write your opinions in the comments below this video? Look how future champions practice evenly. Full synchronization. It seems they are still children. Look how carefully they listen to the teacher's instructions and how beautifully and correctly they try to do all the exercises. We can say with certainty that these little masters have found their calling in life. Now they can only improve their skills and rise to the next levels of mastery of martial arts. This boy's skills are simply amazing. How can he slice watermelon cards? Have you ever seen anything similar? We'll bet as much as we do. You are shocked. This kid can even put out candles. Isn't that magic power? How do you like it? Do you want to learn how to cut fruit for a salad without using a knife? Many people think that strong and well-developed muscles are the key to winning fights, but others say not necessarily. You don't need to have huge weight, strong arms, and a firm grip to know self-defense techniques. It's enough to have good health. Martin Ford is a professional bodybuilder and a real giant. Even against the background of the most famous athletes, he believes that he will easily defeat the most talented monk from Shaolin. Will he really succeed? The monk has no athletic body, but he is no worse than this big man. Monks feed mainly on plant foods which cannot be said about athletes. Despite the lack of a meat diet, the master from Shaolin feels great and is always ready for exhausting training. Another strong point of the monks is their durable body. Remember this exercise with students. In general, both professional bodybuilder and monk, Shaolin have many advantages, but of course you can decide yourself who is stronger, more durable or just like it more. Would you believe that an ordinary person can withstand a boiling oil boiler? No. Then look, a Thai monk was sitting in front of many people in a ladle of boiling oil without suffering pain. In this way the monk showed people the power of his faith. Just amazing. But of course there were those who claimed that it was simply impossible skeptics are sure that a special ladle was used for this trick. Some believed that the oil in the cauldron did not boil at all. If this is true then it would be silly and funny to admire this trick. Have you ever seen a man running on the water? This young man impressed many internet users. A monk from Shaolin set a record by running on boards 125 meters long on the water. Impressive. It is also surprising that the monk fell three times into the water before the film test. So what? Was it a well done trick? But are there years of meditation and concentration of thought and body? Many scientists say that ordinary boards cannot support an adult, not to mention running over 125 meters. It would seem that anyone can repeat this trick, but so far nobody has succeeded. It's all friends. Which of the presented monastery masters did you like the most? Write in the comments if you liked it, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to not miss interesting materials.